For season seven of Street Outlaws, No Prep Kings, renowned chassis builder Larry Larson is returning to his origins. Drag Illustrated recently paid him a visit at his Oak Grove, Missouri, shop to get an exclusive peek at the work being done on his brand new 66 Chevy 2. Regarding the body type, Larson remarked, It's kind of been my go-to for 30 or more years. I did something I've never done before, making the car as light as possible. Each time I construct one, I aim to create something marginally better and slightly prettier. It only needs people to look for it and see if they can find a few new little things. Although Larson wants to have the car finished in less than a month, it won't be ready for the Maple Grove Raceway season opener on April 19th, 20. This would enable him to make its premiere at Flying H Drag Strip, his home track located just outside of Kansas City, on May the 24th, 25. According to the current idea, the Chevy 2 will be painted in the same colour scheme as his original steel street vehicle, which won him an incredible five Hot Rod Drag Week wins in a row. Under the hood, there will be an MH7 Hemi, although the choice of whether or not to enhance power is still pending. It's configured so that I can use a single turbo or two turbos, or I can run a centrifugal supercharger, Larson added. I've exposed myself in many of those areas. The turbo cars will perform exceptionally well if the tracks are any like they were at the last four or five races. The turbos will fail once more if the tracks return to their previous state, which was subpar on the high end some three to four years ago. Larson has been competing in his stunning Cadillac ATSV for the last few seasons. But after a year of waiting for a buyer, Larson ultimately made the decision that it was time to make a shift and return to his starting point. Regarding selling the Cadillac, Larson remarked, I really liked the car, but it was a good time to do something different. The automobile was made entirely of steel and was a touch too big for NPK. I intended to use the 25-pound weight brake for an older body type and build something lighter. Apart from competing on the NPK circuit, Larson is also preparing the Chevy 2 for several racing disciplines, allowing him to make specific chassis modifications based on his preferred racing venue. I designed it so that I can adjust the motor's height and direction by a few inches, Larson remarked. That way, I have a few options to experiment with, and I can really push the motor back and possibly even compete in that if I want to put small tyres on it and do some of this crazy small tyre stuff going on. Throughout the previous few seasons of No Prep Kings, numerous cars have made their debuts, including Larson's new vehicle. The fight to stay competitive is unending due to the increasingly demanding schedule and large sums of money at stake at every event. As the show keeps changing, Larson, who has been a part of it since the fourth race of season one, has learned to adapt. Larson remarked, It's come so far from where it started. It began as a group of street racers from the 405 area. But money always tends to float to the top, just like in any Heads Up series. Almost everyone is now paying a crew or tuna to come in at this stage. They intend to run whatever they believe will be fast that weekend. Thus, they are bringing two different vehicles in two different configurations. Last year's team arrangement changed things, but this season, when things return to an individual series, you still control your own fate. In the long term, it's probably better for everyone.